Thanks for tuning in. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you can get the latest updates and workouts from Jimra. Hi guys, Jen Brown here with Jimra. I wanted to tell you about a really special program that I created along with several other Jimra trainers. It's a 28 day program consisting of workouts that focus on abs, butt, cardio and stretch. Each workout will be right around 15 minutes long and I really hope you can join us. It's gonna be fantastic and I know I can't wait. I'll see you there. Hi everyone, it's Leslie with Jimra. I'm here to guide you through an advanced mat Pilates workout. All you'll need for the class is a set of light weights anywhere from one to three pounds and your yoga mat or your Pilates mat. So we'll get started lying down on our backs with the weights. So take one weight in your right hand, one weight in your left hand, lie down on your back, bend your knees and bring your legs into a tabletop position. Curl the head and shoulders up Take the weights forward so they're just in front of your hips with the palms facing up. Reach the right weight forward, reach the left weight forward, extend the legs, bicep curl in, and then back to tabletop, weights go back. So it's reach it right, reach it left, extend, curl the weights, and then rebend the knees. Keep going just like that. Focus on connecting to your core, pressing the lower back down into the mat keeping the rib cage closed, pulling the navel to the spine, and point the toes when you extend the legs, only taking the legs as low as you can go while still keeping the lower back down on the mat. Just a few more rounds. We'll take three more right, left, extend, and then last two, right, reach left, extend right left extend and bend now extend both legs to a high diagonal keep everything the same with your legs just take those weights all the way out and all the way in so out and in we've got eight seven six point those toes five keep the head and shoulders up four three two, one. Good job. Bend your knees, bring the weights to the chest, lower the head and shoulders down. Really nice work. Set up your feet so they're about hips width distance apart, setting up for a Pilates bridge. Go ahead and bring those weights to your hips to begin. And we'll just start by lifting the hips up, lowering the hips back down, feeling that spinal articulation. Scoop the belly, curl the spine back down every time you lower and you can move at your own pace. If you wanna move through a little faster, it's a lift and lower, lift and lower. Dig your heels into the mat, squeeze your glutes at the top, lift and lower, lift and lower. Keep going, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. You've got five more, last four, Last three, two, and one. Good job, now keep the weights to the hips. We'll add on a march this time. So as you lift the hips, you'll bring that right leg into tabletop, lower the hips, hips up, left leg to tabletop, lower the hips. If you wanna add a little bit more spice, you can fully straighten the leg. So it's a right and down, left and down. Keeping the weights on those hips, left, and down, right, left. Keep going, right, left. Three more, right and down, left and down. Two more, right and down, left and down. Last one, right and down, left and down. Now take the weights above your shoulders. 
and we'll do 10 rounds of a bridge taking the weights over the head as you lift the hips up so the hips come up the weights go up and over the head and then curl the spine hips come back down we've got nine more of those nine eight seven six five four three two one keep those weights right above the shoulders lift your hips back up into your pilates bridge just hold the weights there take that right leg extend it to a high diagonal keep the hips lifted lower the right leg lift the right leg bend the knee extend the leg the hips stay lifted the whole time we've got nine more lower lift bend extend eight lift bend extend seven lift bend extend six lift bend extend five lift bend extend toes point four lift bend extend last three lift bend extend two more down up bend extend last one down up bend extend now put the right foot down and come up onto the balls of the feet the hips are still lifted and now take the weights and do an overhead press as you lower the heels down the weights will come to the side and then lift the heels up overhead press nine we're doing ten eight seven belly tight six five four three two one now keep the hips up heels down let's do that left leg so the weights back above the shoulders i know the hips have been up for a long time but yes you can left leg to a high diagonal lower lift bend extend nine more lower lift bend extend for eight lift bend extend seven lift bend extend for six lift bend extend last five lift bend extend last four lift bend extend last three down up bend extend two more down up bend extend last one down up bend extend left foot down now curl your spine down bring those weights into the chest really nice job let's do a roll up with the weights so take the left leg long and the right leg long flex the feet take the weights above the shoulders inhale curl the head and shoulders up exhale reach and dive for your toes inhale roll back down nice and slow exhale take the weights up we'll do two more rounds with the weights inhale curl the head and shoulders exhale reach and dive for the toes inhale roll back down exhale weights come up one more round with the weights inhale curl exhale reach and dive inhale roll back down exhale the weights come up now we'll take a half round so curl the head and shoulders reach dive extend pull yourself up to a tall spine place those weights to the side and now we'll take two rounds of the roll up without the weights so float the arms forward roll back down onto your back arms up inhale curl the head and shoulders exhale reach and dive for the toes inhale roll back down exhale the arms go up one more round inhale curl exhale reach dive extend inhale roll back down exhale the arms go up now we'll take a half round to transition curl the head and shoulders reach and dive for the toes pull yourself up to a tall spine and grab those weights once again take your feet so they are a little less than the width of your mat legs engaged feet flexed press heavily down into the mat with the legs taking a variation of saw with the weight so go post your arms make sure that you have a tall spine inhale tall spine as you exhale twist to the right back to center twist to the left keep going back like that center twist center twist center twist center twist center twist right center twist left center twist right center twist left keep digging those legs into the ground center left 
three more. Right, center, left. Center, right, center, left. Last one, right, center, left. Good job, come back to center. Bring the weights into your chest. Close your legs together, point your toes, lean back and find a Pilates C curve with your spine and we'll twist, tap the right elbow, center, left elbow, center. Right, center, left, center. Right, center, left, center. Right, center, left, and center. Five more, right, center, left, and center. Last four, right, center, left, center. Last three, center, right, left, center. Last two, center, left, and center. Last one, right, center, left, and center, good job. Now I want you to hold that C curve and take those weights forward. Close the weights together and then open just like we did in the 100 earlier. So close and open, close and open, close and open. Squeeze those legs, close and open. Last five, four, three, two, one. Weights to chest. Pull yourself up, tall spine, and then you can just place those weights off to the side of the mat. Hands by your hips, scoot yourself to the top of the mat. We'll take rolling like a ball into open leg rocker. So we're doing three rounds. We'll take rolling like a ball, and then you'll go right into open leg rocker, and then we'll do that twice more. So bend your knees, grab your shins from the outside, big toes touch. As you inhale, rolling like a ball, rock back. Exhale, rock up, straighten the legs. Open leg rocker, inhale back. Exhale, rock up, bend the knees, rolling like a ball. Inhale, rock back. Exhale, rock up, straight the legs. Inhale, rock back. Exhale, rock up. One more round, rolling like a ball. Inhale back. Exhale up, open leg rocker. Inhale back. Exhale up, listen, stay. Close your legs together, keep your toes pointed. Slide your hands down your shins, hands by your hips, setting up the corkscrew. So press the lower back down, circle your legs to the right. Circle your legs to the left, to the right, to the left. Now, if you really want to add on to your challenge, you can always take the hands behind the head. I know for me, that really, really adds on and it makes my hips wobble a little bit more. So you might have to go a little bit slower or you can just keep those hands down supporting the hips. We're just here for five. Four, three, two, one. Rest, hug the knees into the chest, lower the head and shoulders down. Moving right along into our series of five because we never skip series of five and I wanna make sure your core is super warmed up for this next Pilates exercise after series of five. So go ahead and bend your knees, legs into tabletop position. Curl the head and shoulders up, setting up for single leg stretch. Hug your right shin in, left leg to a high diagonal. Switch it out, right and left. Right and left. Right and left. Work on your form. The upper body isn't moving. See if you can get the head and shoulders a little higher. Full extension of each leg. Point those toes. Right, left, right, and left. Right, left, right, and left. Five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. Lower the head and shoulders down. Great, good work. Let's set up double leg stretch, legs back into tabletop position. Curl the head and shoulders up, hands behind your head, elbows wide. As you inhale, extend the legs to a high diagonal. As you exhale, scoop the arms in a full circle, hug the knees into the chest. Inhale to extend, exhale, scoop the knees into the chest. Keep going, stay with your breath. Only taking those legs as low as you can go while still keeping that lower back pressing down into the mat. The tailbone is heavy. Rib cage closed. We're here for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Lower the head and shoulders down. Great, good work. Just three more in our series of five. Let's set up single straight leg stretch. 
Legs straight up to the sky or the ceiling if you're indoors. Curl that and shoulders up. Lower that left leg to hover. Grab your right shin from behind. Switch it out left and right. Upper body doesn't move. Same as in single leg stretch. Head and shoulders stay up. Lower back pressing down. Point those toes. Try to kick each leg out of the hands. Make sure your quads are active. Those legs are strong and engaged. All the muscles around the kneecaps active, turned on. Keep going left, right, left, and right. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Lower the head and shoulders down. We've just got two more in series of five and then we'll be moving on to a more advanced Pilates exercise. Let's set up double straight leg stretch. Bring those legs straight up to the sky once again, hands by your hips. Curl the head and shoulders up. As you inhale, it's a slow lower down, only as low as you can go, keeping that lower back down and then exhale right back up. Inhale, slow, lower down, exhale right back up. If you want more challenge, hands behind the head. Inhale down, exhale up. Slow, lower down. Exhale right back up. Keep going. I know this one's a doozy. Try to keep those elbows wide. Keep the head and shoulders up. Press the lower back down. Stay with it. Another five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Great, lower the head and shoulders down. All right, let's finish off our series of five with crisscross, legs into tabletop position. Curl that and shoulders up, hands behind the head, elbow to knee, opposite elbow to opposite knee, twist, 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 and twist. Try to connect each elbow to the opposite knee, point the toes, get full extension of the leg, that's reaching forward. Twist, 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 and twist. Twist, 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 and twist. Keep going, five, twist, four, twist, three, twist, two, twist, one, twist, and rest. Great job. Let's take a moment to stretch out the abdominals. So go ahead and place your feet down onto the mat. Hips width distance apart and just lift your hips up into a Pilates bridge. If you want to take a more of a yoga style bridge and lift those hips a little higher to really stretch out the abs and maybe interlock all 10 fingers underneath your lower back, you're welcome to do that as well. Whatever feels best in your body here. And then when you're ready, release that grip, scoop the belly, roll the spine back down nice and slow. And we'll do a roll up transition. So take the left leg long, the right leg long, arms up, curl the head and shoulders up reach and dive for the toes pull yourself up to a tall spine and we'll set up boomerang so we'll be doing this exercise a total of four rounds you'll start with seated with a tall spine and you'll cross the right ankle over the left ankle the hands by your hips so you inhale tall spine as you exhale C curve down, take the legs up and over. You'll switch out your legs, so left ankle crosses. You'll rock up to teaser with the ankles crossed. The arms go up and then swim the arms in a circle back behind you. Interlock all 10 fingers, squeeze the palms and then hollow the belly, slowly come down into a forward fold. And then pull yourself up and we'll take that three more rounds. So now the left ankle is crossed on top of the right. Inhale, tall spine. Exhale, shoot the legs up and over, quick switch, rock up to teaser, swim the arms back, squeeze the palms, come down to your forward fold, upper body up, just two more. Inhale, tall spine, exhale, legs up and over, switch, come up to teaser, circle the arms, interlock the hands, Slowly come down. Last round, inhale, tall spine. Exhale, legs up and over, switch. Rock up to teaser. Circle the arms back, squeeze the palms. Come down into your forward fold. Pull yourself up, tall spine. Great job, uncross your ankles, scoop the legs around. Step back to plank pose. So left hand plants, right hand plants. Find the top of a push-up. Spread the fingers wide, knit your ribs together.
curl the tailbone under slightly. Engage your legs, press into the balls of the feet. Breathing here. All right, adding on, take your right leg, lift it up, and take that right knee and twist, tap it to your left tricep, step it back to plank, and then lift your left leg, tap it, and step back. So it's cross and cross, 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 and cross. Five, four, three, two, one, cross both ways, and then we'll meet in a downward facing dog. Lift the hips up and back. Stretch it out if you want to. You can pedal it out, bend the right knee, bend the left knee. Get some movement going into the body. And then find some stillness in your downward facing dog. Really spread the fingers wide, lengthen the tailbone to the ceiling or to the sky. Feet about hips with distance apart. Slow down the breath a little bit here. And then from the lower belly, roll forward like a wave to your plank. Lift up the right leg, lift up the left leg, then back to downward facing dog. Four more times, roll forward, lift right leg, lift left leg. Downward facing dog, last three, roll forward, lift right, lift left. Downward facing dog, last two, roll it out, lift right, Lift left, downward facing dog. Last one, lift right, lift left, downward facing dog. Now grab those weights, they should be at the top of the mat and walk your weights back to meet your feet. Roll up to stand and we'll do the roll down and a walk out to plank using the weights. So hollow the belly, exhale, roll down. Inhale, walk it out to your plank. Row the right weight in, the left weight in, and then walk it back to your feet. Roll up to stand, and we will do that two more times. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, walk it out. Right weight, left weight, walk it back. Roll up, last round, roll down. Walk it out. Narrow row right, narrow row left, walk it back. Roll up to stand and now we'll roll down. Walk the weights out to your plank and then place that right weight to the right and the left weight to the left. Find your plank pose and then bring your feet in so you're in a hovering tabletop, knees off of the mat, shoulders over your wrist. Take that left leg back, hip height, inhale. As you exhale, tap that knee to the left tricep. Get above the elbow if you can and then back to hip height. We've got nine more, so in and back. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Now, left knee bends. Do not put that right knee on the mat. Fire hydrants in hovering tabletop. Out and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last two, nine, 10, back to hovering tabletop. Last thing, shoulder taps. Tap it left, right, tapping opposite shoulder. Keep those knees off of the mat, belly tight for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees down, tabletop. Let's take a couple rounds of cat cow to reset. Inhale, drop the belly, arch the spine, look up. <laughs> Exhale to round. I know that was hard. Two more times, drop the belly, arch the spine, look up. Round the spine, press the mat away. One more, inhale, drop the belly, arch, look up. Round to press the mat away. Come back to a neutral spine. Then take your left leg back again. Take the right toes off of the mat this time and roll open. So the right hand under the right wrist, the left leg is up. Take that left hand behind the head. Take a breath in as you exhale. Combo move here, you tap, elbow to knee, re-extend, and then tap, 
elbow to tricep and open. Nine, curl and up. Eight, curl and up. Seven, curl and up. Six, curl and up. Five, curl and up. Last four, curl and up. Last three, curl and up. Two more, curl and up. Last one, crunch, extend, curl and open. Good job, place that left foot down, stretch the left arm up and over the ear. Just take a little stretch here. And then bring the left hand back behind the head. Bring your feet together and we're doing butterflies. So I want you to glue the feet together. Do not let the feet separate. The left knee will go out and in 20 times. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Now the left foot steps back to the back of the mat. Reach that left arm up to the sky. Press so much into the right hand and the left foot that you can pick up that right knee. Extend it to the left ball and triangle. Stretch the left arm up and over the ear and we'll come right into wild thing. So plant that left hand, lift the hip, step that right leg all the way over the left. Take that back bend, stretch the right arm up and over the ear and then dip the hips down and take that right hand behind you. Crab walk your way back onto your mat. Place those hips down, setting up for teaser variation here. So lie down on your back. We'll start with the legs in tabletop for this one. Arms up and over the head, inhale. As you exhale, come up to teaser. Tap your toes down, lift your legs up and do that twice more. Toes tap and up, tap and up. And then all the way back down to tabletop. We're just taking two more. Exhale, come up to teaser. Tap, extend, tap, extend, tap, extend back down. Last one. Exhale up, tap, extend, tap, extend. Last one. Tap, extend. Good job. All the way back down. Hug those knees into the chest for a moment and then just flip over onto your stomach. So just flip all the way over, lie down on your stomach. Take your feet a little bit wider than your hips. Take your arms forward in front of you. Gaze is down so the neck stays nice and long. Lift up your head, chest, and shoulders. Inhale here as you exhale, swim the arms back. Inhale, swim the arms forward. Exhale, swim back. Inhale forward. Try to keep the head, chest, and shoulders as high as you can. The legs are engaged, you point those toes. Keep going, reach and swim. Reach and swim. Really nice job, reach and swim, reach, and swim. Last five, four, three, two, one. Now swim the arms forward, lift up those legs, and then start to rock forward and back, forward and back. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, release, child's pose, rest. Stretch out your spine, knees wide, forehead to the mat. Slowing down the breath. Great job. Let's come back to tabletop. Step back to plank pose. Actually, I'm gonna flip around so that you can see me. So come back to your tabletop. Meet me in a high plank. Get really strong in your plank, get those belly muscles nice and tight, and then bring your feet in for the hovering tabletop. So we're doing all that same stuff with the right leg. Take the right leg back, hip height, inhale as you exhale. Tap above the elbow, get to that right tricep, then all the way back, nine more. In and back, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now bend the knee, fire hydrants. Don't put that left knee down. Take that right knee out and down for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right foot down, don't put the knees down. One more set of shoulder taps, let's go. Tap and tap, try to keep that pelvis stable. Tighten up your core muscles. Lower belly in and up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, knees down. Good job, reset with the cat cow, three rounds. Drop the belly, arch, look up, round the spine, press the mat away. Two more times, drop the belly, arch, look up, round the spine, one more. Inhale, drop the belly, arch, exhale, round. Back to neutral spine. Take that right leg back to your hip height once again. This time the left toes come off of the mat. Keep the right leg lifted, left hand under left shoulder. Reach that right arm up, right hand behind the head. Let's go with the combo move here. So it's a crunch elbow to knee, open, curl, and open. Nine, curl, and open. Eight, curl, and open. Seven, curl, and open, six, curl, and open, five, curl, and open, four, curl, and open, three, curl, and open, last two, curl, and open, last one, crunch, curl, and open, good job. Place that right foot down at the back of the mat. Stretch the right arm up and over the ear. Press into the outer edge of that right foot. And then take the right hand back up to the sky, the right hand behind the head. Bend your right knee, bring your feet together. Butterflies from this side plank variation. So you take that right knee out and in 20 times. Don't let the feet separate, 19, 18, 17, as wide as you can, keeping the feet glued together. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Make sure you're pressing the mat away with that left hand. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, good job, right foot steps to the back of the mat. Stretch the right arm up to the sky. Press so much into the left hand, right foot that you can pick up that left knee. Extend that left leg all the way out to the right. Fall in triangle, stretch, lift those hips. Keep the hips lifted, plant that right hand. Roll over the right foot, lift the hips. Step that left foot all the way over. Wild thing, stretch, take that lovely back bend. Then dip the hips down, take that left hand behind you, crab walk back onto your mat. Sit those hips down for another variation of teaser. For this one, I want you to start lying down with the legs straight, so adding on to the challenge. So lie down, legs straight, zipped up nice and tight. Arms over the head, inhale. As you exhale, come up, teaser. This time, take the arms forward, and up, forward, and up. One more, forward, and up. Then keep the biceps by the ears. Roll back down. Two more, inhale. Exhale, up, forward, up, forward, up. Reach, and up. Keep the biceps by the ears. C curve your way all the way down. Take a breath in, last one. Exhale, up, forward, reach forward, reach, one more forward, and reach. Keep those biceps by the ears if you can. Go all the way back down. Great job. Flip over onto your stomach. Take your feet a little wider than your hips. 
This time, take the arms wide like airplane wings and lift up the head, chest, and shoulders. And I want little pulses here, just up and down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, good job. Now keep the chest lifted. I want you to bend your knees, reach back and grab for your ankles. Now you can flex the feet or point your toes, it doesn't matter. Lift those knees off of the mat. So just the hip bones are down and start to rock forward and back. Forward and back. Five, four, three. Keep that belly tight. Two, one, release. Child's Pose Rest. Nicely done. Stretch out your spine. And then when you're ready, meet me in a downward facing dog. So I'm just gonna flip back around again. Let's find downward facing dog. Pause to reset if you lost the breath. And then those weights should be right there at the top of the mat for you, grab them. Walk them back to your feet. Roll up to stand. And we'll do a little bit of work here for the legs with the weights. So we'll start at the back of the mat. Feet about hips with distance apart. Take the weights down, palms facing in. Pull your belly in tight. With the right leg, spring forward to a lunge. So take the weights in front of the shoulders, the left knee taps down, you come into your lunge, and then spring all the way back. Well, we've got nine of those. Nine more, so 10 of total. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Great. Now spring forward to your lunge. Take the weights to your chest. Lift up that back knee. Then take the weights down. A combo move here. We'll take a narrow row. Pull the weights in, elbows by your ribs. Take the weights down, and then it's a wide row with a lift up to balance. We've got nine more. Narrow, down, lift, and lower. Eight, down, lift, and lower. Seven, lift, and lower. Six, lift, and lower. Five, lift, and lower. Four, lift and lower, three, lift and lower, two, lift and lower. Good job, now plant the weights down. Take the right weight, place it off to the left before you go anywhere, so the right hand plants. Step the right foot back and you're coming into side plank with the left foot stacked on top. Now if you can, you will take both weights in your left hand. If it's too much, you can use one weight or no weights and just a fist. Your choice. Pull the weights into the chest first. Get those hips stacked. We're only doing eight of these. Take the weights all the way up to the sky and then curl twist all the way underneath the body. For seven, twist, six, twist, five, Twist, four, twist, three, twist, two, twist, last one, and twist. Good job. Place those weights down. Come back into your plank pose with the weights. Walk the weights back to meet the feet. And then you can take a moment here if you need to, to just take a ragdoll, grab opposite elbows and sway side to side. You take your time. I'm just gonna walk to the other end of my mat so you can see me for the second side. All right, release those elbows, grab onto your weights, hollow the belly, roll up to stand. Let's do that left side. Are you ready? Yes, you are.
<laughs> this is what we're doing. All right, so remember when you take the weights forward when you spring into your lunge, make sure you try to get them all the way to shoulder height. Let's go. Left weights, or left leg forward, spring back for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Good job, now spring forward and then weights to chest, lift up your back knee so you're setting up in that power lunge. This time, instead of the narrow row, take the weights with straight arms all the way back, down, wide row lift and down. Nine, lift and lower, eight, lift and lower, seven, lift and lower, six, Lift and lower, five, lift and lower, last four, lift and lower, last three, lift and lower, last two, lift and lower, last one, lift and lower. Great, bring those weights down, take the left weight, place it off to the right, plant the left hand, step your left foot back, and then roll open into that side plank. Grab the weights in that right hand. Pull the weights into the chest, get those hips up. We're just doing eight of these. All the way up with the weights. Curl, twist. Seven, twist. Six, twist. Five, twist, four, twist, three, twist, two more, lift and twist, last one, lift and twist, good job, place those weights down, come into your plank pose, bring your knees down, and then Scoop your legs around, keep your weights. This is the last thing, I promise, and then we'll cool it down from here. So we're gonna do teaser with the weights. <laughs> Lie down on your back. You can start with those tabletop legs, weights into your chest. Inhale, as you exhale, push those weights forward, come up into your teaser, and 10 reps. Lower the weights down and up. Nine, eight, Seven, six, point those toes. Five, four, three, two, one. Weights to chest, lie down on your back. Woo, good job, place the weights off to the side. We are done with those weights. Take the left leg long and the right leg long, both arms up, curl the head and shoulders up, roll up, transition, reach and die for those toes. I'm just gonna flip so you can see me from this side. The left leg stays long, take that right foot and place it over your left leg for a twist here. So the right hand will go to the base of the spine, the left arm will reach up, inhale, and then as you exhale, the left elbow will hook outside of that right knee and you'll gaze over that right shoulder. Try not to lean back into that hand, it's there to help you keep a tall spine. Just a few cycles of breath here, cooling it down, inhales to lengthen the spine, exhales to twist. Last exhale here, slowly under your twist, but I want you to just take that right knee and cross it over your left leg for shoelace pose. So we'll take a forward fold here. Take a big breath in, reach those arms up, and then exhale, fold over that left leg. It doesn't matter how far you go, just let yourself, let your upper body fold over your right knee. Slowing down the breath here. It's a lot of hard work. <laughs> Slowly come up and just switch out your legs. So the left, right leg extends long, excuse me, the left foot steps over the right. Left hand to base of spine, 
stretch your right arm up tall to the sky and then twist right elbow hooks outside of your left knee inhales to lengthen exhales to twist maybe gazing over that left shoulder one more exhale in your twist Take your gaze forward and then release the twist and just take that right knee, cross it over your right leg, sweep the arms up and then fold over your right leg. Whatever depth is fine, it doesn't matter, just slowing down the breath here. Slowly bring the upper body up. Great job, undo that left leg, scoop your legs around, plant your left hand, right hand, step back to plank, and then lift the hips to down dog. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. Roll up to stand nice and slow, and we'll close it out with three rounds of Pilates style push-ups. So we always end with the push-ups. Inhale, tall spine, exhale, roll down. Walk it out to plank and then knees up or down. Three push-ups. Try to keep the elbows by the ribs. Two, three, to down dog. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. Roll up to stand and we'll take that twice more. So roll down, navel to spine, hollow it out. Walk out to plank. Three push-ups, down and up. Two, three downward facing dog walk the hands back to meet the feet roll up to stand last round exhale roll down inhale walk out go for your push-ups one nice and controlled two three downward facing dog walk the hands back to meet the feet Roll up to stand, and I have one more challenge for you here. We'll do a releve roll down. So lift onto the balls of the feet, not super high, just a little bit. Hollow the belly, and then see if you can do a roll down, keeping the heels lifted. Nice and slow. And when your fingertips touch the mat, keep the heels lifted and see if you can roll all the way back up. and then heels lower down. Great job, I hope you all are feeling fantastic after that workout, thank you for joining me.